the Kanky Fishing Adventures. I'm your host, Elijah. I'm Jenny Patrick. And we have a great crabbing adventure for you today. We have a one-on-one -on -one special crabbing adventure for you today. We're going to show you everything you need to know about crabbing. This is a great show. you got to watch it. Aloha. This is our crabbing set. We have our crab net where you can get at the fishing store, but you have to attach on the bait line and the three supporting lines where you can attach on a floater and then your lines will attach to a swivel that will attach to a main line which will attach to your main floater. These are the nets that we like to use. The ones in the stores have small eyes. We like to use the big eyes so the little crabs can get out easier. We don't like to untangle the little crabs because it takes a long time. In this next part, we're going to show you how to prep your baits and get your nets ready. So what we're doing right now is prepping the baits. You can use any kind of bait that you want, but today we're using old taffo. You want to prep enough for all your nets and a little extra. So when you pull up the nets and there's no bait, then you can change it real quick. I look super young in here. I was five years old when we filmed this video. We wanted to show you little kids can crab too. When you're prepping your baits, make sure it's tight. When you're done tying your baits, tie a bait to each one of the bait lines on top of your crabbing net. It's easier to prep everything on shore. Small crabs like to live in mud or sand. They're also called mud crabs. Most of the crabs that we catch in this river we gotta release. We rarely catch any legal sized crabs in this river. but it's good training for us. The Wailua River is one of the few rivers in Hawaii that you can water ski.
This is the dock for the big boats going to the fur grotto. In this next part, we show you how to drop off the crabby nets and where to drop them off at. Once you get to your spot, you start throwing out the nets. You want to space them out. Some of the biggest crabs we caught were from shore. Sometimes people will even catch them with fishing line. This was a small one that went through the net. Coming up next, you're gonna start pulling the nets in. A lot of times when you pull in the net, there's nothing. But there's also some times where you get one in every net. It's all about finding where the crabs are.
Remember, you can only kick the males. That is six inches across the back. Simone crabs are one of the sweetest tasting crabs. Simone crabs are super fast when they're in the water. Don't think they're slow. You want to try and pull up the net as fast as you can. Because the big ones will swim right out the net if you go slow. It's super sore if you get pinched by one. So we're gonna pick up the nets and try another spot. Hopefully this spot is better. We didn't realize there were so many little papillos until we put the cameras on the nets.
Here are two Samoan crabs are about ready to battle. You can see how fast they are. We had to slow down the camera a lot so you could see it. This was the biggest male crab that we caught, but it was still an inch too small. We didn't get any keepers this trip. But it was fun going out there and trying. Crabbing is something the whole family can do. You don't need a boat to crab, you can crab from shore too. If you liked the video, Click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell for a notification. Mahalo!